Good afternoon everyone, welcome back. This is Matt Johnson, Solutions Engineer with Hagerman and Company. Today we're going to do an introduction to phasing in Revit architecture. And I've got a project set up here and I've done a simple building with an existing part of a building, a phase one and a phase two. Now I've got uh, each one of the phases adding on to the other phase to kind of keep this simple. And I've added some doors in here. I have door one which will be deleted uh, when phase two is built and then the door number two will be added on in phase two. So all of this geometry needs to be added to a phase but before we can do that we'll go to the phase dialog box that is found on the manage tab and as, as you notice up here on this tab we have all of our phases set up. As a default you have an existing phase and a new construction phase. And what we want to do is, is since we have an existing phase one and phase two we want to keep the existing phase and we want to add phase two but before we can do that we'll just rename uh, the new construction phase and call it phase one. Now to add a phase into a project, I go over here to the controls to insert a phase and I have phase one selected. So you have before and after over there, so you have in the past and in the future. From the top to bottom is your timeline. So we want to insert a phase after phase one. You notice that it automatically defaults to naming that phase two, so that's good. We'll say okay. Now we have our phasing set up for the project. And the next thing we need to do is is to go in and make sure that all of our geometry is selected on a phase. But first let's go in here and say we'll choose to duplicate with detailing so that we can create a demo plan. Now the purpose for a lot of people to setting up phasing is, is so that they can have different views with different visibility for each phase. Perhaps they want to show one as a finished product and then they want to show another um, as a demo plan that only shows a certain phase that has the new construction in that phase and the existing or what has been demoed. So we go to our view properties over here for level one and you notice that you have a phase filter there that's how everything uh, has the visibility of it and then you have this phase right here. This is the current phase or the active phase for the view. Okay, everything so far is designated as being uh, on phase one right now. And these are your phase filters. But what we want to do is, is we want to go in here and choose all this geometry and assign it to a phase. So I'll go to the existing. And you notice that I've broken these walls up into um, little sections so that you could designate because part of the wall is going to be demolished. So you go over here and into the properties box after you choose that geometry and we put these on the existing phase as what phase they were created. Okay, And then I've changed these walls into be segments by using the split tool that's up on the modify tab. And beforehand I've just gone in here and used the split tool and split those walls up. Because the center portion of this wall here is going to be demolished in phase one. So it was created an existing phase by the time they want to go out demo that wall in phase one. And you notice that it turns into dashed lines. And that's part of the visibility in the next video. I can go in there and show you how you can change that. So we'll want to choose all this geometry over here. This door. These walls. And then go to the properties box and make sure that those were created on phase one. Okay, we'll leave that alone. Then we'll pick the center part of that wall and say that it was created in phase one, but it's going to be demolished in phase two. And we can apply. 
apply that. Now the next step is to go in and select all this geometry that's created in phase two. Go to the properties box and select created in phase two. Now we notice that this geometry in phase two has disappeared. And that's because that our current phase or our active phase for level one in the view properties is phase one. So phase two has not happened yet. And we notice that the existing is shaded back and that the wall is demo. So we're, we're saying we want to show all in our phase filter. If I change it to phase two, the phase two geometry shows up and now phase one is in the past so it shows up as shaded back. If I change the existing phase, we notice that phase one and phase two geometry has disappeared because they haven't happened yet. Change this back to phase one. And we'll take this door and say it that it is going to be demolished in phase two. Now when we change our phase or our active phase to phase two, we notice that the door is shaded back. Now you can go in here to this phase filter and this is where you choose what you want to show in the current view. We have show all, and then we can show complete. Now there are no demo or existing elements showing. We can show only the demolished and only the new. We have current phase, phase two, so there is the demolished geometry and the new construction in phase two. You have other options down here. You can show previous and just remember that your timeline goes from the past to the future. We'll change this back to phase one. We'll go to level one demo plan. And if we change the current phase and only demolished and new, it only shows the demolished walls and the new construction in phase two. And the next video will show how we can um, change the visibility. Thanks for watching.